Oh, welcome back for a good one, my math party people. Anderson here, your math coach. Let's go ahead and get into it here, where I'm going to teach you now, how do you find the original percent? Like, how do you find the percent that's being taken? So in this series, right, what we're going to do right here is we're going to show you, hey, look, when I give you the original number and I give you the result, how do you find the percent? It's exactly what we're going to do here. So buckle up. Let me go ahead and show you how. So this problem says, hey, 110 is what percent of 120.3? Okay, here's exactly what you're going to do, my math party people. To get something like this done, first of all, you need to see what it looks like. So 110, the word is means equals. Then it says what percent? So I'll go ahead and say, hey, you know, percent and then of, so times 120.3. Okay, so what do you think you need to do here, my math party people? What do you think? Kind of similar to the last video that we did where we had to find the original number. Notice that we had to divide. Same thing here. You would divide that original number on both sides to figure out, hey, what's the percent gonna be? But here's the only problem, my math party people. Here's the only problem. Remember, what happens or what are we supposed to do when we include a percent inside of an equation? We turn it into a decimal, right? Yeah, we do. And so remember that this is in decimal form. So this is a decimal. So once we figure it out, turn it back to a percent. Once we're done calculating, turn that decimal back into a percent. Because we know that if we're including it in an equation or multiplying or whatever, that's going to be a decimal. So we have to turn it back into a percent. So the way that we do that is just by multiplying by 100 or moving that decimal place over to the right two times. But we'll worry about that when we get there. And I'm going to show you plenty of examples in this video. Here's what we're going to do. You see that to get this percent by itself, you got to divide that 120 out. So that's exactly what we'll do. We're going to go ahead and say we have 110 divided by 120.3. That's what we're going to do. And so notice that we're dividing by a decimal. I don't like dividing by decimals. And so what I'll do is I'll move that decimal place over here to the right one time. Take that decimal and move it to the right one time. So what this becomes, my math party people, is this. This becomes 1100 1 divided by 1203. A little easier to see, right? A little easier to see. And now we can actually divide. So 1203 dividing into 1100. And I'll put some decimals just in case. So if we check this out, we're going to need those decimals because at the end of the day, you notice that 1100 is less than 1203. So your result is going to be less than one. It's going to be a decimal. And then you're going to turn it back into a percent. So here we go. 1203 doesn't go into one. 11, 110, or 1100. It could go into 11,000 though. So I'm gonna put a zero right over here, put that decimal place where it belongs, and I'm gonna ask myself, well, what number could go into, you know, into all of that, into the 11,000? Well, I'm gonna take a guess here. I'm gonna say maybe potentially nine, because 10 would be too much. 10 would be 12,030, so maybe nine. Maybe nine would work. And you gotta be able to experiment. You gotta be willing to. Let's multiply by nine and see what happens. Three times nine is 27. Zero times nine is zero. Add the two in there, that's two. Then two times nine is 18. One times nine is nine, carry the one is 10. So 1,203 times nine is 10,087, or 10,827. So yes, that would work with the nine. Let me go ahead and place that right there. And I'll subtract, the, again, the 10,000 827. Okay, so once we have this going on the math party people, we got a bit of a subtraction problem here that looks like we don't want to do. But using some mental math, or if you want to go ahead and just keep borrowing a one, you can do that. But what the answer is going to be here is going to be 163 will be your response. 163. 73. There we go. 173 will be the answer. So again, just using a little bit of mental math there, you'll have 173. Okay, so now that we're here with the 173, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead here and drop that zero. And let's try again. 
1,203, how many times does that go into 1,730? Well, that's gonna be exactly one time. And just like you're watching this video for free here on YouTube, I got more free materials for you, my ASVAB party people. We've got a free practice test that comes with video solutions so you can learn from every single mistake and identify those topics that you need to crush and work on. And on top of that, you can get a free class with me on Zoom once a week. And so that's all included in my free practice test with my free class included. Click that link in this video or in the description, sign up, keep learning for free and keep raising your score. I'm proud of you. Let's keep working hard and let's get back to the problem. And we'll subtract the 1203. Booyah. And what we have now, well, we're gonna go ahead and borrow right there for the two, 10, seven, two, five. 527. And then if we wanted to, we can keep going and drop another zero. But this isn't actually gonna be necessary. Your decimal is gonna be right around just about approximately 0 0.91. And remember, that's a decimal. To turn that back into a percent, what you're gonna do is multiply by 100, because percents are out of 100. So you're gonna multiply by 100 to get a percent. And that just means move it over to the right two times. So about 91%. When you look at your answer choices here, right here, D is about 91%. If you would've kept going, you would've used the four there and you would've gotten that down. But my math party people, again, the party doesn't stop here. I'm gonna go ahead and show you three or four more examples so that you can get the hang of this. So let's go ahead and take care of something a little simpler. Let's see if we have, let's see. And these are all gonna be pretty brutinous when it comes to calculating. Let's go ahead and try this one out, number 10. So number 10 is gonna give you a better perspective on this, okay? Number 10 is gonna give you a better perspective because we're gonna be using easier numbers. So let's try this one out now. So again, we see this as what percent, okay, so the percent of, so times 32 is equals eight. Okay, so notice we have this written out, the percent of 32 is eight. We're trying to find what the percent is. So what you're gonna do is divide that 32 on both sides because that's gonna give you my math party people, the percent equals eight over 32. But remember that this is in decimal format. So just remember that at the end, you gotta turn that back into a percent. Because remember, when you include it in the equation, it's a decimal. And then to work backwards, turn it back into a percent once you see what the number is. So we have eight divided by 32. That's exactly what we'll take care of right now, my math party people. 32 divided into eight, put some decimals in there and we're good. So 32 doesn't go into eight, so that's gonna be zero. Put the decimal there. 32 goes into 80, how many times? Well, that's gonna be two times. 32 times two is 64. So minus 64, what do we have left over? That's gonna be 16. Bring that zero down. How many times does 32 go into 160? Well, that's gonna be five times. That's gonna be five times, because right over here, 32 times five, two times five is 10, three times five is 15, carry the one 16. So we have two and then five right there, minus 160, and it clears out. So your decimal is gonna be 0 0.25. So again, the decimal is 0 0.25, that is in decimal format. We have to turn this back into a percent, and the way that we do that is move that decimal place over to the right two times. And so we are dealing with 25% right there, and that is B. So really the big key here in my part of people is this. We need to make sure that we understand that hey, when we calculate this stuff, we're gonna get the decimal version. And then to turn it back into a percent, multiply by 100, or just move that decimal place over to the right two times, and you're set. That's it. So let's go and keep checking it out, my math party people. Let's go ahead and get into you know, the random one here. Let's go ahead and use one with less decimals. Let's go ahead and do what percent of 103 is five? Let's try this one out. So what percent of, so times, 103 is equals five. So if you realize this, if you see this, you're not, you know, you're not working forward here. You're working backwards. You gotta divide to see what that percent is. But remember, it's gonna be in decimal format. 
you got to turn it back into a percent once you have it. So here we go. Let's go ahead and divide five by 103. And so we'll write that over here, 103 divided into five. Put those decimals just in case you need them. And here we go. And really quick, before we continue my math party people, I know you're enjoying this and you can have thousands of problems just like this in our program. In our program, you have four main things to help you succeed and more. But mainly in our course, you're gonna get access to recorded lessons. You're gonna get access to guided practice just like this. Worksheets that you can print out and try or keep them online. And lastly, speed drills to raise your confidence. That way when you take the test, there's no test anxiety. There's no pressure because you've been timed before, you know what to do, and that's the feeling that we want. And all of that's included in our program and more. So take a brief moment, click the link here in this video or in the description to learn about the program and then reach out to us if you have any questions. Sign up now, let's get going, and let's get back to the problem. 103 doesn't go into five. It doesn't go into 50, but it does go into 500. It's gonna go into 500 four times. So we have 0, 0.0, 103 goes into 500 four times. Because four times 103 is 412. So you subtract there and you'll get 88, drop that zero. So 103 going into 880, well, that's gonna be eight times because 103 times eight is gonna be 824. So that's gonna be eight, subtract the 824. And from here, what you'll get is gonna be 56. Drop that zero again. 103 goes into 560. We can say that's five times. So that'll end up being 515. So that'll be 45 left over. And you can keep going and keep dropping zeros if you'd like to, but I can stop right there. I'm gonna say that my decimal is approximately, so again, in decimal format, it's gonna be approximately 0 0.0485. If I wanted to turn that into a percent, again, move that decimal place to the right two times. So we end up having 4.85%, just about. And so if we round that, that could be 4.9% if you'd like to see it that way. But there it is, 4.9%. It's the approximate version. You round to the nearest tenth of a percent and you're good. So again, my math party people, if you wanna find the actual percent, the, the number that is the percent, you need to go ahead and divide that result by the original number and then multiply it by 100 to get back into a percent format. That's it. That is really, really it. So with that seven math party people, hopefully those were enough examples for us to really work forward with. I wanna see you succeed, my math party people. I really do wanna see you succeed. So with that said, let's move forward the right way in the course, get into those worksheets, then get into those speed drills. That way you can really, really elevate your confidence. And now that you've done this, You've done finding the percent going forward, finding the original number going backwards, and finding the percent working backwards as well. So now that you have all of this locked in, you're great, my math party people. You're in a great position to succeed because what you're going to do now is you're going to move forward into things like taxes, discounts, markups, all that good stuff. So I'll see you there, my math party people. I'm happy to help you. I'm Coach Anderson. Let's get in there. My party people, as always, thanks for watching. Please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. That way you can see all the updates that we come out with so you can keep improving. So don't wait, subscribe now. And then while you wait for the next video, look here or there to see a related video that's gonna help you improve even more. Let's keep raising that score and let's get the job we want. I'll see you soon.